Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the OAUG orientation. Um, my name is Christine, and I am going to say thank you right off the bat for taking a little bit of time to participate in this webinar. Um, I hope you will find it helpful. And um, if you have any questions, I'm going to answer them at the end of the session. Um, if for some reason you have questions at a later date, feel free to give me a call at membership. Uh, the number will be at the end of the webinar, or you can get it from the OAUG website um, under membership. So if we're all set, let's go ahead and get started. OK, let's just do a quick overview. Um, of what we do here. We are an international users group, so we are serving uh, members all over the world. Our job is really to connect you with each other and whatever information you need to be successful. Um, we do this primarily by focusing on three things, uh, education, networking, and influence. When it comes to education, we want to provide you with educational resources that um, you may need to make your work life a little bit easier. Um, for networking, we want to connect you with your peers so that you will have user-to-user -user conversations um, that help you learn from one another. And we're also going to connect you with vendors, third-party um, vendors who can offer that outside advice and a different perspective. And we are also going to help you connect with Oracle. Um, for influence, we want you to have um, a voice in the Oracle community. So we are going to help you influence that. We want you to stay on top of all the latest news that is coming out of Oracle and to feel like um, you know when they're releasing new products and also be able to have an opportunity to um, give feedback on what is working and what is not. Uh, so who benefits from an OAUG membership? And these are the job titles we see most often um, that are up on the screen right now. Uh, but we're really here to help everyone. So if you have someone that you work with who falls into one of these categories or close to it, um, encourage them to create a profile. Hopefully you have done that yourself. Um, and especially if your organization has a membership rather than an individual, um, that organization has paid for a membership that covers everyone in the company. If you're using any of these applications that are listed, then you're definitely in the right place. Uh, we cover uh, learning. We have learning information on every application that you see here, um, and hopefully more to come. Uh, what this means is that we have white papers and webinars um, and different sessions at uh, conferences for learning on a variety of topics at any one given time, but all of these are traditionally included. So we talked about education. It is a major benefit um, and probably the one that most people are looking for when they are looking at OAUG. Uh, we hold live e-learning webinars every month. Uh, we also have online conferences that you can attend, and traditionally, as a member, uh, they are discounted if they are not free. Um, and of course, we have the annual Collaborate Conference, which occurs each spring, uh, usually in April. If you did not attend this past year, um, we will be having another one next April. And actually, they have just done the um, call for papers. So we're really getting ramped up for that. The papers from last year's Collaborate um, are now available online at the OAUG website, www.oaug.org. Uh, we have also been having the best of Collaborate. It's a webinar series. It runs through the end of this month. Um, so check the website and see if there's anything coming up in these last few weeks that you might be interested in. Um, simply, when you go to the website, you're going to go to Education. Um, there's a drop down, and you'll click Best of Collaborate. So if you are thinking about Collaborate 2017, um, it's a good way to get a feel for what happened during 2016. If you are someone who prefers to learn via reading, um, our conference paper database is, is perfect. We have over 5,000 white papers 
ready for our members. Um, the only, sorry about that. I don't really know what just happened. Okay, let's go back. That was not good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, we have over 5,000 white pages. So you can go on the website and you can search uh, by keywords or different topics um, or even an author if you know it. Um, if you are not a member or you have forgotten to log in, um, if you are a member, um, you will only see the abstract, not the entire paper. So if you are a member and you log in, you will be able to get that entire paper um, downloaded. So when you're looking for information, I would definitely encourage you to start with that conference paper database. Our goal is to help you enhance your knowledge in a variety of ways. We know that everybody learns differently. So um, we do try to offer um, different options. Um, there are some who prefer uh, the webinars. And we certainly have those available. Um, we also have live events where you can speak with a presenter. Um, that, that works much better for s some people. At Collaborate last year, we had hundreds of different sessions, and the presenters were always available. Um, and then, of course, the conference papers that we've talked about. To add to these opportunities, um, members can access recorded e-learning sessions on our website. So if there is something you're interested in, you prefer to learn uh, through a webinar, um, we, we record everything. So, and we do um, go ahead and archive it. They are available 24-7. Um, so uh, again, go to the website. There is an enormous amount of information there. Um, but that way, you can attend a webinar at your convenience. So whether it's in person, through webinar, or just a recording, um, we are just really trying to make learning available um, at every turn. We also want to help you stay up to date um, with what's happening and coming out of Oracle. Um, and one of the best ways to do this is by receiving and, the, and reading, obviously, the OAUG Insight Magazine. Um, this magazine is one of our highest rated member benefits. Um, Insight magazine, it's produced quarterly, and we send member organizations 10 hard copies. But outside of those, um, you can access that on the website as well. So if you're not one of those 10, you still have access to it. There are a whole variety of articles that are um, put into this magazine. It's a, they do a lot of research and a lot of work. It comes from a variety of different um, individuals and businesses. Um, and it is exclusively for OAUG members. Um, we also have newsletters um, that are keeping you up to date on what's happening, what educational opportunities are happening with OAUG, and also what resources might be available to you. We also have, um, and that will be coming out in the fall, the OAUG Buyer's Guide. We produce that once a year. Um, it is packaged with the fall edition of OAUG Insight Magazine. Um, and it is also available online. Uh, the Buyer's Guide is a searchable directory of different service providers and consultants. So if you're looking for a third party to come in and give you um, some help or get you started um, in something perhaps that's very new, this is a great place to start. So when you visit the OAUG website, I would encourage you to take a look. This is a new page. We've had it just for a few months. Um, it shows off some of the stories of our members and how the OAUG has helped them in their career. Um, this slide gives you an idea what this page looks like. There is a form you can fill up, fill out, um, it, which is under the membership tab on the website. Uh, the heading is going to read what our members say. Um, you can leave us a little bit of information, and we can follow up with you later. Um, or you can give us as much as you like. Not everyone is comfortable writing, so we are happy to take a small, a small amount of information or different tips and tricks and turn it into something that we can 
put up on the web page. The OAUG is very focused um, on making your work life easier. And one of the best ways we have found is to do that is by connecting with your peers and learning from them. So we encourage you to connect um, on a day-to-day -day basis as much as you can, uh, whether it's with consultants or vendors who can bring a different perspective, um, or uh, you know, just somebody else in your company or in the same industry. Um, we, we think that's a great way to be learning in addition to the, the other materials that we're providing. Um, we are connecting you with Oracle. So we're loop, looping them in and keeping you up to date on that front as well. And that combination provides a very comprehensive view of the Oracle Applications community. Along those lines, um, I would strongly encourage you to look into our uh, geographic groups and our special interest groups, which is what's up on the, the screen right now. Um, GEOs are people who have um, organized a group within OAUG based on their geographic region. Um, they usually get together for meetings and different events and share information. Um, each one has a different schedule. So um, you have to take a look on the website, but there are over 30 geographical groups. And um, if you go under community users, you will see geos. And you can open that up and see if anything is uh, um, relevant for where you're located. Um, we also encourage you to take a look at the special interest groups. Um, these are what we call SIGs. They are usually geographically dispersed. As a matter of fact, they can be all over the world. But they share an interest in either a specific industry or a, a product line that they're using. They will often hold calls for training and different updates and ideas. Um, but because they are so spread out, um, they usually only meet in person maybe twice a year, um, usually at the Oracle Open World Conference, which is coming up in September in California, or at Collaborate, um, which is in the spring again. We currently have 48 special interest groups, so I'm going to encourage you to just take a look at those. It is a great way to um, plug into some great networking opportunities that can be much more specific to what you either are doing or where you might um, work and live. Again, um, and I can show you when we get to taking a look around the website, they are going to be located on the website under community users. Um, another great way to connect, it's another group that we have, um, is through our OAUG Young Professionals Forum. Um, we call them the YPF. And they cover a variety of topics on calls every two months. So if you're a member, uh, check the website for when those calls are. They do record previous calls and are available on the, um, those calls are available on the OEG website as well. And when it says young professionals, um, really everyone is welcome. Uh, we have a couple of uh, young professional events that are happening this month on the 24th. We have uh, Beth McLaughlin from Duncan Brands. She will be doing a Hyperion webinar. Um, there is the information on where to register for that. It's on the 24th at 3 o'clock. Um, so I'm going to leave this up for just a minute. Um, also in September, the young professionals will be hosting some sort of an event at Open World. I don't know if it will be a learning session or just a get together. Um, we'll have more information as we get a little bit closer to that. We also encourage you to connect with others by joining our social media outlets. Um, we are on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. So um, you can ask questions or reach out to peers, share some tips. Um, we also have a promotions tab where you can talk about upcoming non-OAUG webinars that might be helpful to others. Um, you can see our Twitter handle there. And we share a lot of news through that. So um, 
if you use Twitter, um, it's a great way to stay informed. With everything that membership offers, um, we really want to remind you that it provides also provides you an opportunity to have influence with Oracle. And this is done through our Customer Support Council. Um, this council speaks as one voice. It's a collective voice on behalf of all of the OAUG members. So um, when we say that your voice has impact, we really mean it because um, that one council is speaking on behalf of thousands of people who are using Oracle applications on a day-to-day -day basis. The um, OAUG Customer Support Council serves as an advocate for the greater Oracle user community. Um, they do have influence on product and policy decisions, um, and there is no additional cost. That is just part and parcel of your membership. So if you are having issues on a consistent basis or you have um, some great feedback, whether it's positive or negative, um, the Customer Support Council um, is the place that you really want to direct that. Um, you can get to it through the website, uh, but their email address is support at oaug.com. You can also, as a member, keep up with the Customer Support Council through the Support in Focus newsletter. That is a quarterly newsletter. Um, and it just gives a really good idea of what is happening um, between OAUG and Oracle to make your life easier. Since um, most of you that are on this are either a new member or you might not even be a member, you might just be thinking about membership, um, it is good to know that 96% of the current OAUG members would recommend membership. So that's a great, great recommendation. Um, you might want to take this opportunity at the beginning of your membership to visit the website if you haven't spent any time there. Um, download a free copy of the Insight magazine. That's a good place to start. And um, also spend some time on that website getting familiar with everything that is um, available to you as a member or um, as a potential member. For those who are just thinking about joining, maybe you're not members yet, um, membership is cost effective. It is less expensive than a few hours of consulting. Um, it, the membership cost for an organization covers everyone in the company. Um, it is one fee, whether you have 100 people or 1,000 people. Um, and there are substantial discounts on the Collaborate event and some of the other conferences, usually online, that we um, host or participate in. Um, there's a, really just two questions that traditionally come up um, on a regular basis, and that is whether there is a limit to the number of OAUG um, membership logins or individuals that can be set up under a membership? And the answer to that is no. Um, as I just stated, whether you have 10, 100, or 1,000 people, one company membership covers everyone. Um, and then also we have individuals who want to know, um, once you have your login, you know, do certain benefits cost extra? And the answer to that, again, is no. Um, the conference paper database, the webinars, um, the Insight Magazine, the newsletters, all of that um, is available to you and all of the recordings um, at no additional charge. Okay, so I'm going to, we're going to just spend a few minutes um, on the OAUG website. I think it will be really helpful, so if you um, can log in uh, along with me. Uh, to, if you want to, at oaug.org. I will have it up here on the screen in just a moment. Okay. If you've logged in or if you've just pulled up the website, um, this is what it should look like. And you've this um, the home page tends to scroll on a running basis. So um, while I'm doing this, just bear with me. 
Um, you have your home page, which you're looking at. If you're creating a profile, you're going to create a profile, and that will prompt you through the creation of that. If you have any questions or have any issues, you can contact membership, and we can take care of that for you. Once you create a profile, when you come to this home page, you will go up to the login, and you will click on that. Your login ID is always going to be your email address. Whatever one you put in to start is the one you want to continue to use because the system will identify you with that. And um, that's how you log in to get to, to have access to whatever you're looking for. Um, there is an About tab. And under here, you will get, um, you know, you can look and see who the Board of Directors are, the different councils and committees, like the Customer Support Council, the OAUG staff, um, I believe I'm on there, um, some of the frequently asked questions which we've gone over, and just even just a direct link to contacting OAUG. Uh, next uh, drop down is membership. And if you have not joined, membership options will give you um, the different categories and the different dollar amounts associated with them. Um, there's some information here. We talked about this, what our members say. If you click on that, you will see uh, the page I showed you during uh, the slideshow. And um, you will be able to submit information if you're interested. Uh, the OAUG orientation is where you're going to sign up for orientation. So if you have somebody you work with who wants to do one, you can direct them there. Uh, there is information here. If you are an ambassador, it will give you the guidelines on what is expected. Um, the next one is very important. We really encourage volunteering with the OAUG to become connected and get to know people. And there are opportunities here. You can submit a volunteer interest form through here. And uh, I clicked on it just to give you an idea what's available. The different councils and committees and so forth. Um, and then we have some other things here, the member of the year, innovator of the year. And then if you want to connect with the Young Professionals Forum, you will click there. Education and events is primarily where um, people end up. And really, I would um, advise you to navigate this and just really get familiar with it. You have your e-learning, your conference paper database, um, the different conferences and events that are either going on currently or coming up, uh, the best of collaborate, which we talked about of 16. You might want to click on that and see if there's anything coming up in the next week or two. Um, and then we have Oracle Open World. This is going to be information on the Open World Conference that is uh, happening in, I believe it's San Diego, uh, the weekend of the 18th through the 22nd of September. Um, and then here is uh, an, an online conference that was uh, put together. And so here's really where all, all everything you're going to be looking for is going to be under this education and events with regards to learning. Um, for those who attend sessions in certain circumstances, they qualify to get CPE credits. And this is where you will go to ensure that you get those credits after a conference. We talked a little bit about the user communities and the geos and SIGs. Um, I'm going to click on this geo here to give you a sense of what that looks like. So it comes up. And underneath it um, are the different geographic groups. So if you are, say, in Atlanta, you can click on your red icon, and it will take you to their individual website um, and give you a sense of what's happening and what's going on with the Atlanta OAUG um, geographical group. And then along the left side of the geo page, um, there are some information. There's a little bit of information um, at a glance of what's happening. So um, for the different geos. So you may not have to go to that specific website. You may see something right here. It might be what you're looking for. So getting familiar with this um, is, is extremely helpful. The same thing for the special interest groups. Um, you will have 49 of these. And they have a whole variety from financial to cloud to uh, EBS. 
And then on the left-hand side, there's just an at-a-glance of events that are coming up across the board for those six. Under resources, um, we have recently added five pro tips. These are professionals who are giving uh, tips based on their experience with certain applications of what works best. Um, and that's always really interesting to listen to. It takes just a few moments. Um, here is a connection to your customer support council, which is, again, the group who is communicating directly with Oracle. And there's some cloud information and training here. It's a little separate and apart from education. Um, we have the OAUG membership directory, which is another benefit. Um, most organizations do not um, encourage access to their members the way that we do. And in order to make that very available to you, we put the entire membership directory on the website. So if you want to reach out to someone in another company or in, this, in a similar you know, business as yourself, um, you can locate them through that membership directory as long as they're a member. We have some job postings and then different Oracle resources. Under publications, you will um, subscribe to Insight Magazine. And you can bear with me here while I you can see here there's um, different press events that have taken place, different um, press releases on things that are happening with the OAUG, and also an archive of different press releases related to learning events, things that are happening with Oracle, Collaborate, um, a whole variety of things. The Partners um, uh, tab is um, a little out of the day-to-day -day, um, workings of OAUG. It is traditionally um, people who have been with us for a while and they're interested in maybe exhibiting with Collaborate. So they are not only members, um, but they want to exhibit and um, be a participant in the Collaborate Conference or um, perhaps produce a awareness session at Collaborate or one of our events where they are a speaker um, specifically putting together something related to what they do. Um, there is also an opportunity here if you want to advertise with OAUG through Insight Magazine. Um, that is available as well. Okay. Um, that pretty much takes care of the website. I hope that this has been helpful. Um, it's a lot of information, and I do understand that. Um, I am going to say just one more time, please try, as a new member, to take some time and get familiar with that website. It is really um, your best friend on a daily basis when it comes to learning. Um, and that is the end of this broadcast. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can put them out there now. If you think of something later on, I am more than happy um, to speak with you directly. You can contact me at the number that is up on the screen, or you can email me. Um, I don't see any questions. OK. I'm going to say thank you for your time today. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye now.